can't express how happy these make me. I just can't. As a Rocket fan, I think they look cool. You know what's not cool? Inefficiency. And that's exactly what Mac Diamonds are. Isn't it shocking that something so beautiful is actually a sign that rocket engines need improvement? But all big rocket engines have Mac Diamonds. And if this is inefficiency, why do they have them? To answer this, I think it's best to describe how a Mac Diamond is created. I think we can all agree that gases have pressure. All around us, the air has pressure, and that pressure is acting on everything. I mean, you think you can't feel it, but you have one bar of pressure acting on you right now. And the exhaust jet out of the back of a rocket engine has pressure as well. But this pressure doesn't have to be the same as atmospheric pressure. And this is what causes Mac Diamonds. When the exit pressure of a rocket engine is less than atmospheric pressure, you get this pinching effect, and that leads to bright spots. And these bright spots are essentially further reactions of the fuel, generating light and heat. Don't get me wrong, there is far more to Mac Diamonds than just bright spots of heat and light. But I'm going to try and keep things simple in this video, and we'll leave it at that. I was inspired to make this video after watching a video by Scienceish, in which he used a 3D printed nozzle to produce Mac Diamonds. But I was thinking, maybe I could do this differently. Instead of using 3D printing, because I don't have a 3D printer, I'll just try and use the random sh** that's in my house to make a rocket engine. Let's take a look at the diamonds produced by Scienceish. <laughs> Before I show you my work, there is one last thing I need to explain about Mac Diamonds. And that is that they are everywhere. I mean, water rockets produce Mac Diamonds, it's just that you can't see them. To put it simply, this clip is stunning. I think you can agree that that's enough science for now, so let's start making fire. So this is a modified setup from my last video. Here we have a nozzle, the igniter, air intake and gas intake, and hopefully this will all work. I thought this was looking a bit weak, and it turned out that there was a small leak near the air intake. The nozzle seemed to be restricting the flow of gases too much, so I think it's best if I try and remove it. <laughs> when I first watched this back, my god, frame by frame, my mind exploded. It's amazing. So obviously after my first Mac Diamonds, I tried it again. I can't, I can't express how happy these make me. I just can't. Although the Mac Diamonds are there for a split second, it just goes to show that to make them, all you need is a bottle of syrup. So do you think I can take this further? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and all those other normal things. I'm going to make more videos, obviously, having done this. So. 
be sure to stick around. See you in the next one. Thank you.